Welcome back to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy here with Washington Wizards forward Jeff Green. Back when we were both with the Celtics, I remember there was a really specific day. It was media day, and I came up to you, and I was asking you a question, and you were kind of being a little off. There was something you, I felt like you weren't telling me, and it turns out that that was the day that you had gone in to have the testing, and it started the process of when you eventually found out that you had to have open-heart surgery. Kind of take me back to that moment, because, I mean, you've come so far. Yeah. Going in for that routine appointment, and then them telling you what they did. Yeah, it was um, a long day. It was like a December 11th. I mean, I remember it vividly. Yeah. Like it was yesterday, but it was tough, you know, being told. I mean, I didn't know what to think. I mean, I was in the best shape, yeah. you know, ready to play. And, you know, I worked out the whole lockout, like literally twice a day, six days a week. Worked out, no problems, no short of breath, and mm -hmm. just one physical, it was, boom, got to have surgery, heart surgery. You got to postpone your career. Uh, I mean, I didn't know if I was going to play again. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be a problem uh, to come back, but I also didn't know if I was ever going to step back on the floor. When you talk to NBA people, they'll often say about you, and I think you know this too, you're like one of, if not the most, athletic yeah. guys. Yeah. in the league and they actually kind of did give you a bit of an option if you were going to have open heart surgery right i had to have the surgery to play again or i could just stop playing basketball and not have the surgery that was my only two options i chose to have it but i, I wanted to postpone it because it was christmas right around the corner new year's so i just told them let me go on the road trip with the guys because i mentally i was all messed up yeah, like i didn't know what to think spend some time with my family christmas uh, New Year's, and then a couple of days before January 9th when I had the surgery, I um, went to Cleveland, uh, Cleveland Clinic, mm -hmm. and I had the surgery. When it was time to see if you could play again, did you have any concerns or thoughts maybe you shouldn't do this? I did. I did. Um, it's a story that I was told that I haven't even, I haven't told anybody besides my family that who know. When I came out of surgery, because I, I went in on Monday at like 5 or 4.30 or 5 a.m. I didn't wake up until Tuesday morning. So what, what I was told was when I came out of surgery, which was that evening of Monday, I had to go back into surgery because I had internal bleeding. That's something that a lot of oh people don't gosh. know. Then when I came back out, I didn't wake up to, I want to say Tuesday morning early Tuesday morning. So I had a surgery Monday. I didn't know that until maybe Friday or Saturday when I was getting out. And that's when, when I found that out, and then when I had to get up and walk, because I had to really start moving my body, it was the hardest, hardest thing I ever had to do, walking 10 feet. It was by far the most uncomfortable uh, pain I ever been in. It was just walking from, you know, like getting up from your bathroom, uh, from your bedroom to go to the bathroom. I was out of breath. And that's when I was like, I don't know if I'll, I'm ready for this. Like it was, that road to get back on the court was the toughest road I've ever been on in my life. I remember when you got back out on the court, it was a really, really cool moment. Yeah. Do you remember it? That year went by so fast because I was so excited to just play. And now I'm playing with I got a full year of playing with KG, with Paul, with the Doe. I was just, like that moment when I remember we went overseas to Turkey and that was the first game I came back. And I, I was so tired after that game. But I mean, there was so many moments that stick out from that year. Like it was, it was amazing. So now you've played for eight different teams? Yeah, yeah. What's next for you now? What do you want for your NBA career? To play as long as I can. For me now, I don't even think about, you know, how many teams I've been on. Uh, you know, I've been through so much. I tell people this all the time. Like, I, people always say, man, you, you have the talent to, to be a, a max player, to be, like, one of the most athletic. Like, to me, I'm blessed enough to just play. Like, if I can just, you know, I don't care how many teams I play on. If I, I want to find a home, I, you know, I want to be on a team that's, you know, going to appreciate me. But just to be able to just play 
whatever team, whatever team it is, I mean, that's good enough for me. I mean, I always tell people, I want to play until they put me out of the league. I mean, I don't <laughs> care. I mean, I see Vince right now who, you know, is a big role model for me. You know, he's 21 years. That's a goal in itself. I don't know if I make it, God willing, but if I'm able to play 21, 21 years, 12 teams, I don't care. Like, I, I can say I played 21 years in the NBA.